Hi, I'm Carrie from Dendriad Art and Press for Design and in this video I'm going to show you how to draw this Celtic style four-leafed clover. The materials are very basic, we just need some paper, a ruler, pencil, fine liner pen and a rubber and I've also got a putty rubber as well. So we're going to draw our guidelines first and you want to draw your guidelines quite faint. Um, I'm going to draw mine a little bit darker so that you can make sure that you see them. So draw out a square as big as you want the outer edges of your four leaf clover to be. So mine's six centimetres. And then once you've drawn your square, you're going to mark off the halfway point along each of the edges. So three centimetres for me. And then you're going to draw those, join those halfway points with a line. The next set of guidelines we're going to set up is actually this space in between the four leaves of the clover. So to do that, on either side of these lines that you've just drawn, mark off two millimeters to either side so two millimeters to the right and two millimeters to the left and repeat that on both the top and bottom and then repeat on the edges and then you're going to draw join all those lines up And then the final guidelines are going to put in are just a line from corner to corner. And that's all the guidelines set up. So we're going to draw the outer line of the clover so that's this line here and we're going to draw that using the guidelines so we start from this top right hand square in the center here and use drawing along the guideline going to draw a straight line up to about two thirds of the way up maybe a little bit over then we're going to curve a line so it hits this top guideline here and then, it might be easier just to move your paper as well, you're going to curve back down so that your curve hits the central line here and it's going to look like the top of a heart, basically, like so. And then you repeat that on the other side so you curve back up so it looks like a heart, reach the outer edge, curve back down so it meets this guideline. And now you're going to bring that line all the way along this guideline, past the line where you started, to about just over two thirds along the way on this square. And you're just going to repeat exactly the same motion. So a little curved line up to the outer edge. Now a curved line back in and meeting the point of that line meets this guideline, back up to the outer edge. Curve back round, hitting this guideline now, and now you follow that guideline all the way along into the next square and stop just over two thirds of the way and repeat. And then when you finish the last square, the line just comes down and meets up with where it started. So that's the outer 
line done and then we're just going to do the inter internal line which is this one here so we're going to start off with parallel lines to the ones that we've already drawn and starting off with your horizontal sorry diagonal line here as a base put your pencil where the diagonal line meets and we're going to draw a teardrop shape so that it meets up back again with where you started and that this line here is horizontal with this line this one so it's parallel pair of parallel lines here and here and then a teardrop shape there now you carry that line on over so it he hits this horizontal line again diagonal line again and bring it round in a teardrop shape and then it comes back round so we'll just repeat that all the way around until again this line meets up with the one that you originally started from and there you go that's your basic outline done so all it remains for you to do now is to do your overs and unders so i'm going to rub out make this one an over so i'm going to rub out these two lines which means as you work your way around that one goes over so it's got to go under this one so i'm going to rub out these two lines Follow it round, that one goes over, so that's got to go under here. And then around, that's gone over, so it's got to go under there. And that's it that's the four leaf clover done so all it remains for you to do now is just to outline all the lines that you've drawn in and then color it in if you want to and then once you've finished drawing all your lines you can just rub out all your pencil lines and then it's ready for you to color in so i hope you've enjoyed drawing that uh, feel free to tag me on instagram with your drawing because i'd love to see what you've done i'll put the details below and remember that if you want to see more celtic knotwork designs and i have my patreon page patreon.com forward slash carrie dennison where I'm going into the process of drawing my next Celtic Knotwork colouring book. So I hope to see you on a, another drawing video soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.